devastating reality. More Georgia mothers are dying during childbirth than they were five years ago. And a new report finds 89% of pregnancy related deaths could have been prevented. Right now, new legislation aims to combat maternal mortality across our state and the nation. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is in Midtown Atlanta tonight. Doug, looking at this painful personal costs for local families. Yeah, today we met Charles Johnson. He lost his wife, Kira, in 2016 after she gave birth to their second child. The act is named for her, and it seeks to prevent other families from experiencing the same tragic loss that they did. So the best way I can describe Kira is absolutely like sunshine personified. Charles Johnson met his wife, Kira, at a friend's birthday party in Atlanta. The two had an instant connection. We changed information, and the rest is history. In 2014, they welcomed their first child. Two years later, they prepared to welcome their second. Kira gave birth around four in the afternoon. What took place over the next 10 hours, seven years later, is still hard for me to digest and comprehend. Charles started noticing blood in Kira's catheter and immediately alerted doctors who told him not to worry. By the time the sun came up, Kira had died, a postpartum hemorrhage that left her bleeding and suffering for hours. thought that my wife would not walk out to raise her boys, it never crossed my mind. Charles would go on to found For Kira, For Moms, a nonprofit that provides other families who lost moms in childbirth with all sorts of help. Now, organizations like Charles's could be getting more help from the federal government in an act named For Kira. Georgia Senator Raphael Warnock is a sponsor. As is so often the case in health care, he says black women make up the bulk of the statistic. Black women are three to four times more likely to die than their white sisters. The bill would provide funding and research to groups already working against the horrific trend. Hemorrhages, postpartum heart issues, and cries for help being ignored by doctors, like in Kira's case, are the leading causes. Literally something that has been taking place from the beginning of time is something that we can't get right here in the United States and that we haven't been getting right here in Georgia. So if you do the math on those statistics, that is two moms dying from this in the U.S. every single day. Now, something else that For Kira For Moms does is provide implicit bias training to hospital staff so they don't ignore the obvious signs that something is wrong. In Midtown tonight, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.